So this is a this is a type C glue. There is a there's another type, I think a type A, for a different type of material. But this is specific for PVC. You can see how strong that is. Oh, it's really really strong. There's quite a few patches here. Like someone's had a obviously had a dog on here. I've been looking at these PVC inflatable kayaks for some time. I've always been apprehensive because of the puncture problems with them. I found this one on Facebook classified. Someone was giving it away because it had a series of holes and they've attempted to repair it. And what I also want to try and do as a demonstration is I don't want to pull these patches off in case it's damaged and it's trying to remove it. I'm going to try and attempt to put a patch over a patch. Got a spray bottle here. It's not actually glass cleaner, it's empty. I couldn't get the lid off so I just put a hole on the side and put some dishwashing liquid and some water in here. But I've, I know there's a hole here somewhere because I've got a fair bit of pressure in there. You can find the holes quite easily with a bit of pressure. There you can see the... Hole with the safety liquid. So I can actually feel that and hear it. So I'm just going to put a cross or a circle there to mark that one. It did come with a few spare patches, as you can see here. There's a bag that comes with it, which is a vinyl. And worst case, I'm going to cut this bag up and use them as patches. It also came with a previous punch repair kit, which has got some vinyl in there, which they've used used here. So I can use that. But there's no, there was no glue in this kit. I did a lot of research online. And this seems to be the go-to glue. It's like a two-pack glue. But basically, I'm just, I've just outlined a few areas here that are leaking. There's another area right here. So there's quite, it's a bit of a dog's dinner. It's gonna be turned into a bit of a, a patchwork quilt. There's another couple over this direction. Over there, there's another patch I wanna go over the top of. But this is the Asbond, comes in a box, 250 mils. Uh, and that's, but there's not much information available on this company on the net, but I do know, I think they're based out of, in the UK. And I will put in the description, I'll put a link to the safety data sheet there too. But basically in the box, you just get the hardener, which is, it clearly says here, is add 5% per volume of your part A resin. But also in the box, there's nothing in there. There's no real instructions. There was a little bit of foam in there like a divider between the two but all the instructions are on the tin here itself it's pretty nasty sort of stuff so you really want to use it in a ventilated space this is really nasty stuff too that i think is that so you're supposed to on the jar on the tin here it's saying use an mek solvent which i was finding hard to get and then i looked into it and it's really really toxic acetone is not as toxic and not as effective this is available near me, so this is probably the next best alternative. I'm just going to use this shot glass. I'm going to even use the base of the can here. Just mark where the patches are going to sit. So I'll use this as a template. This is just so I know where the patch is going to line up when I put it on there. And you probably should really put mark. If you really want to do a really nice job, you want to put masking tape around the edge here, like they are a couple of millimeters outside of that edge put masking tape like cross hatch it over like a rose petal almost and that way you'll stop getting glue on the rest of the material but this is more of a demo given the number of holes or markings on this uh, kayak it's not worth me doing that it's going to look less than ideal anyway so it's not worth my time and effort and this patch i'm just going to try a few i want to go over these patches because they're starting to lift a little bit this one not so bad there's another one over here that way more I'll show you later. Okay, I've got this container here. So I'm just going to measure that, trace that onto there. These ones here. Yeah, so there's another one here. There's a little bit of a tear here, but it's right near the edge of the seam. The seam's right there. So I'm going to bring that back like that. So I'm just going to join these two up. I'm going to do two circles, come past a little bit. Use this as a bit of a straight edge. 
to join those up. And that's the patch I'm going to put on there. There's another one here. There's another big one right over here. And the dogs managed to, I might even do another one here just in case. You can see here this patch is starting to lift, but I don't want to try and pull it all the way off. I don't want to damage what's left of the kayak. So what I might do is just go over the top of that. There's another little one here, but I don't know if that's a hole or not. Unless I do a tapered one. I could do a tapered hole, tapered patch like that. Funny looking shape. So I'm going to use the same sort of material to patch this. It's going to be the same diameter as that. Put that there. And then I know I've got a shot glass here. That's going to be roughly, so if I peel this back, I can see where it's going to sit on that edge. And join that up get my straight edge join these two up anyway I'm, I'm no expert at any of this so it's just a bit of trial and error this is going to be a bit of an unusual shape I probably should have laid this out more to utilize the patch but hopefully i can get another one out of that so this patch is going to go over there something like that now i've just got to do a heap of other patches so i'm going to use some of the patch material that came with it there's no blue unfortunately i've got about five shot glass patches to do and i do have to do some smaller ones little tiny ones and the other side of the kayak, pontoon side of the kayak has got basically got the similar sort of holes and punches in it. So I've got to do this by two. It's, it is really going to look like a, a patchwork quilt. I'm really not sure if this is going to be a total waste of time. There's a really smooth surface here and there's another slightly porous, a bit more of a textured surface. That's the one I'm going to use to glue down. I can rough it up with this sandpaper. Rough this up. Take the shine off it a little bit. Okay, I'd cut this patch for this one here, but I end up, the conscience got the better of me and I made a bigger patch because you really need at least 25 to 30 mil to the edge, from the edge to the edge of the patch. So I've, this gives me a bit more room to play with. This other patch here, I was managed, I just peeled the edge back, managed to pull it off. So that's, it's come off there. So this odd shaped one, I'll still use that. That's gonna go over there anyway, regardless. It's gonna back in any dust. I've just got some cardboard to lay these patches on while I apply the acetone to the patches to prime them up and onto the craft itself to prime that up before we actually put the as bond on there. You can see I've got all the patches laid out. I've got invisible gloves on, I've got a respirator on, and I've also got a fan in the background. Blow the breeze away. Oh, so I just spilled acetone all over the floor, which isn't cool. Oh, hope it doesn't wreck the damage to the floor. Uh, didn't it didn't actually do any damage actually we'll see I'll put that lid on properly this time once again my invisible gloves are doing a good job it just removes any residue there and I probably use, should have used a pencil instead of a pen and I'll clean just clean these up with a little bit of acetone you can see it started to take the pigment out of the out of the, the PVC But like I said earlier, if you only had one patch, you'd spend the time and put masking tape around it and do it really, make it really pretty. But like I said, this boat cost me nothing 
and it's more of just an exercise for my own knowledge to see how easy these things are to repair whether it's worth spending the money and buying a decent craft because eventually no matter what craft you get you're going to probably eventually get holes in it so it's good to know how to repair them Hey Google, what's 5% of 50 mils? The answer is 2.5 millilitres. Two and a half mils to 50 mils of the resin or, or glue. Yeah. I'm just going to use a syringe to try and decanter two and a half mils out of the hardener here. I'll put about 50 mils of glue in here. That's about 50 mils there. And I'll attempt to get about two and a half mils, what I might do. Just... See that's close to two and a half mils. Put the hardener in. Got a new little brush here. And just give that a... Just gonna apply that to... Go a little bit out. Once again, I've got invisible gloves on. Let those dry. The stick helps a bit just to hold it down. I've opened all the windows up here and put a fan on and left the left the building for about half an hour to let this dry. And so now I've got to do a second coat and hopefully I can reuse this brush. It's still okay. I've got a respirator on here to help alleviate some of these fumes. Just gonna apply the second coat. So with this second coat that we apply, we let it we let it sort of go tacky for about 10 minutes. All right, so we're going to let that let that dry for about 10 minutes. It's been roughly 10 minutes, and you've gone by the instructions. Test the back of your hand to see if it's tacky. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to put this one on. So I'm just going to use this roller here. I should have taken a label off. Just going to try and get out all the air bubbles. Roll that on. Really roll it out. Like I said earlier, if this is the only patch you're doing, you're masking tape it off. A couple of mils, two or three mils around there, just so you don't get any glue or any stuff on the outside here. So this is the next hardest one. Is this long one here and if need to I might get the heat gun on there just to soften it up a little bit as well just gonna place that over there just gonna put a little tiny one on there okay I'll let it cure for 48 hours I just want to make sure these patches aren't going to leak. Make sure there's no leaks coming out of them. You can see the glue residue there. It doesn't seem to be leaking. Got quite a bit of pressure in there at the moment. No leaks. This is the glue that's dried and left over resembles a plastic bag. It's flexible, but it's really, really strong. Like I'm really struggling to pull it apart. And with the cup, when the glue's inside the cup, you can just peel the glue out once it's dried. You can see it's taken the shape of the container there. But once again, that's it is flexible, but it's only a thin layer there. But 
you can see how strong that is. Oh, it's really, really strong. Look at that. I'm really struggling in the brush. It's really hard to reuse unless you've separated all the, each bristle. But for the cost of a new brush, they're only $1.50.